I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah Can you hold up, don't need no coffee yet Got no makeup, how do you look so fine? Hello? Hello? Are you okay? This seems like a setup, it seems like you're like held at gunpoint right now No, 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 I'm totally fine You speak good English, is that... Indonesian is your first language? Uh, Balinese is my first language, Indonesian is second Damn, and how much languages do you speak? I speak Indonesian, Balinese, Japanese, English, Korean do you, is, do, you, you, do you learn languages for fun? Is that your... Well, I grew up watching your... American series, that's how I get my English And then Korean also the same thing, you know, with the K-drama stuff happening uh -huh. I get my Korean from that Damn, what the f the English is crazy Can you speak any other languages? I speak a little bit of Spanish, I understand Spanish, uh -huh. but I'm just not fluent Hola, como estas? Muy bien ¿De dónde eres? Yo soy de Indonesia Spanish is pretty easy, not gonna lie. Probably like... No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You're learning, bro, Korean is like 10 times harder than Spanish. Are you like content creator or something? No. Nah. What do you do? You do content? Oh, yes, I'm a content creator. What kind of content do you do? Talking with people with... Oh, on... You do this on TikTok? TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. See, You have a good following? Or what's your following looking like? On TikTok, 600, almost 700k. 100? You said 100? Yes, 700. 600k? Almost a, more than half a million? Almost there, yeah. <laughs> You're lying, bro. I'm show lying. me show me on your phone. <laughs> I'm lying. Why would that I shit lie? is insane. Holy s***. I, I deleted TikTok. It takes too much of my time. I want to delete it too, but it's related to my work. So I want <laughs> I, I want others to kind of like post it and I want I don't want to do with social media too. Because it's yeah, yeah. super addicting. It is, dude. I, I was doing I was on there for like six hours at a day, like <laughs> out of my time. Six hours a day just scrolling. Social wasting media? my whole time. Wow. So bad. I had to delete everything. And then I'm slowly back on Instagram. But like now I really know how to like discipline myself like to stay off of it how do you discipline yourself from social media like do you make a timer or like no so i completely cut it off like completely i went cold turkey and for like a month or two oh. and then i was like i kind of need to like talk to my friends because it's not healthy because i live by myself I, I have no friends like contact i just go to work and come back but i like i'm gonna just I live now. I just only go to Instagram for group chats or text my friends, and then Snapchat. I'm not even really on Snapchat anymore. And then TikTok, I completely deleted it because I don't need to consume that much content. I know it's too much. It's too much. It's actually it's not really good for your brain to consume that type of a lot of information, especially it's different information. It's, like, it's so broad the it's, spectrum. Yes, it's really it, it could damaging your brain for a long period of time. Actually. Yeah, my, my, what is it called? When you, oh, my attention span was so short. And then I, I did the, like, the detox from TikTok. Mm -hmm. And now I can, like, watch, I can do, I can have so much patience now. True. Yeah. Before, before it was just, like, scroll, 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 scroll. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. But now I'm, like, I'm more patient with it, too. Yeah, it's good if you yeah. can just and doing the social media detox which is really needed actually but sometimes it's really hard and it takes a lot of effort yeah. and if you've done it it's it yeah i was like especially since it's like with you at all times like so hard to f cut out because it's f in front of your face but yeah i had to do it because it was just i needed it for my health that shit was so it was getting so bad true i also want it but as i told you it's related to my work I need to find someone actually to do it. No, I don't want to get too personal, but are you making a lot of money off this? <laughs> Enough, I would say. Enough? Can I hear your other languages? Because you, I'm telling you, your accent is like, it sounds like you were born. Like you have good English, like you just have an accent that, that's from like, it sounds like 
like New Zealandish, Australianish, yeah. kind of. Yeah. What do you want? Which one do you want to hear? Let me hear you say, I love TikTok and Balinese. Yang demen gak diajak TikTok. But actually, Balinese itself, there are like many languages. So if I speak like my village, that's that's how I sound. But if I speak like majority Balinese, it would be like TikTok. Tiang, tiang terus nengat dia. Stupid. Wait, how do you say? We don't really say like chumpu, no. Sometimes when I have to switch to another language, it's really hard for me. And I, cause I cannot really find the words that I want to say. Like when you're thinking in your brain, what do you think? What language are you thinking in? Uh, most of the time, of course, Balinese, my first language. But I'll try because right now I'm learning like Tagalog. I, I'll, uh. I'm trying to think something in Tagalog. For example, if I want to think like, oh, he's super handsome. I have to really push myself to really know the sentence. Probably I'll just switch uh, it up and then I'll think like that. To formulate it? Kind of like yeah. to make a habit because when you do it, because language is a, is something that you really need to do it and speak it. Other than that, you, you it won't really stick no matter how many, like, like how many things you have learned. If you just put it input to yourself, like if you're just like reading and listening, it won't work. You have to really speaking and writing about it. And practice it. I do Duolingo, yeah. but it doesn't really help. Yeah, <laughs> it, it like, so like, okay, like I'm learning the words. That's why I don't really do it anymore. Like I'll do one lesson just so I can like, like keep practicing it. But I used to go on here every day for two hours for like a month straight. And I would just practice my my Spanish and I would, I would put like the, the country under, underneath like Mexico uh -huh. or like other countries that speak Spanish, like Spain or something. And I'll just practice with them. It's way better. Because uh, when you learn languages and you get feedback like, oh, your Spanish is really cool. It's just like it intrigues you to kind of like giving you endorphins and you want to learn more because you've got that type yeah, of feedback. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was getting those like compliments too. I was like, yes, let's fucking yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, that's just sick as so, especially if, because I was like, my parents speak Spanish and my, my grandparents speak Spanish, but no one taught me when I was young. So I understand it pretty well, yeah, okay. but I just don't speak it. So this was like, yeah, I need to start practicing. But it's gotten to the point where like, like it's not really useful in my life right now that I need to keep practicing every day. But as long as I know like Spanish, I, I, I can mm -hmm. listen to it and I can speak like broken up Spanish. That's all I really need right now at the moment. But I know if I really dedicate three weeks a month, I'll, I'll speak fluent Spanish. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could sense that yeah. you're pretty like organized and diligent. Like, if you want something, you really put the effort into it. You, you... <laughs> so I like that type of <laughs> My belly's like. Ooh. Are you hungry? <laughs> Actually, yes. It's my lunch time. Oh, what time is it over there? Well, you're in, in Indonesia, right? Yes. Almost. Two, two, 20. two, thirty, two, twenty-two, two, two, two. What's your zodiac? I'm sorry, I'm really into that, so I'm Aquarius. Um, I'm an Aquarius. Uh, I have an Aquarius friend. He's also like, yeah, pretty introvert. <laughs> like, well, I I don't know anything about that. I some girls don't like. Oh, you're an Aquarius. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't. I understand it. Actually, I do understand it. Why? Why does it make sense? What do we, what's like Aquarius traits? The traits. Oh, one of the, one of the thing is like really when you when you when an Aquarius wants something, they really put like the effort, and then they don't really give a damn about others. Like, like for example, sometimes people having a FOMO if they are not on social media, right? But if an Aquarius know that's not the best for them, they will just get away from it. When you... Is this is this true it's or is this true? You just like, like are you just like oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna just true. go. It connects it. He just said this. I'm gonna just say it because he said this. No, 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 actually, it's true. That's why. I, that's why I'm pretty <laughs> amazed when you said oh, I'm an Aquarius. Oh, it makes sense because I do have a lot of friends that Aquarius that actually. Okay. They do that stuff like that. 
You sometimes it's really interesting about astrological thing. Like it's it's pretty. How can like a lot of like a million people that they put it a trait for like Aquarius and Virgo and stuff like that? But actually, sometimes it makes sense. I don't know why, but you know that's an astrological thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then, are you really deep in deep into it? Because I know my moon sign is. No, I'm not really that deep. I don't know my yeah. moon sign to be honest. <laughs> You don't know your sign? What's your sign? Um, my, I know my sign, but you know those moon sign or what is it? There's like a there's like a rising yes. uh, moon. Something that, there's like a bunch of other ones that yeah, I'm not sure that. about. But I just know I'm a Virgo and then I, I don't know others. Yeah. But well, you're a Virgo? Mm -hmm. I think we get I think we get along. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that, that a Virgo is actually a pretty comfortable uh, start. Sign. With Aquarius, is, yeah. And then I think I'm I'm, a, I'm compatible with a Libra too, Virgos and Libras. Oh, you know what's crazy? It is cool because I actually do hang out with a lot of Virgos. That's real weird. Maybe maybe it's not a scam. Maybe that See? that shit is not a scam. I told you, it makes sense sometimes. Maybe you might be right. I told you I'm a content creator, so can I like post you or something? Is it okay? On 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 TikTok. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, TikTok. Oh yeah, sure. Thank you, Inda. Nice meeting you. Nice Have a good one. You too.